so welcome to Kids Express Conversations, another wonderful opportunity to talk to people in the Kids Express Village that have made a massive difference um, to our 15 years. I'm really privileged today to be speaking from the NRL Museum, but even more privileged to be speaking with somebody I consider a very close friend, confidant and advocate for Kids Express, and that's Frank Tullitola. So welcome to Kids Express Conversations, Frank. Thank you for having me. Um, I wonder if you could start by just telling us a little bit about your career, um, and then I'd love to touch on how we actually got connected through your role and my role at Kids Express. Uh, sure. Um, so my career, yes, uh, I I wasn't um, I wasn't the big sort of avid footy fan when I was a, when I was growing up. Um, and, um, when I when I was in, I think year ten, uh, hadn't played football, um, so I hadn't played rugby league up until uh, year eleven, I think it was. So um, during the midway point, I think of year eleven, our school team was short on numbers, and Tony at that time had already established himself as a bit of a schoolboy, you know, prodigy, uh, and I think you know there was. There were a lot of a lot of people that were involved, uh, especially in that local district of Penrith. Um, I think they earmarked Tony as being, you know, a really special young talent. Um, so he was he was already you know building himself a nice reputation as being sort of this really standout young player or young prospect. And um, you know, I was just his brother that you know loved sort of shooting shooting hoops with the boys and you know having a bit of a laugh. Um, but on that particular day, we we had. Tony, Tony's uh, school team had a had a game, and um, one of the one of the guys injured himself during a training run. And Tony, obviously, they got desperate, so they they came. Up. <laughs> Tony approached me, <laughs> approached me, and said, um, "You know, would you would you come over and play? We need a winger." Uh, and you know, of, of my very um, basic knowledge of the sport, I knew what a winger. What a winger's role was in the stay, stay right out on the flank. And, you know, if you get the ball, you might score. You know. So I said, yeah, yeah, let's go and play. So, you know, I said, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll be more than happy to help him out. Uh, and embarrassingly, I, I took the field. I had basketball shorts on. I think I had, I think someone learned, uh, you know, let me some boots. Um, and, you know, miraculously, I scored two tries in that game. You've spent time with some of our kids, both in our schools program and in the centre program. Um, we've had people like Jack Friend, who has just announced his retirement, um, who have spent time with their kids um, in a really fundamental way. And I think that that um, the recognition is not there for the players for what they do off field that is actually fundamentally needed in our community but is also really good in our community and I think from my perspective Frank that is something now because of you and because of um, touch of colour and interaction with different players like Jack Friend etc that I will now always uphold. Um, it is also where our kids look so our children when they don't have role models look to where the next level up of role models is often on our you know, there is so much great work that goes on by so many good people, and a lot of those good people are players. Um, you know, and I, you know, I, I will, I will attest to the, you know, to the day that I, you know, I'm old and grey that there are there are more good people in the sport than there are not, and um, you know, for the most part. I, I can't really recall any player, whether they were teammates, opposition, or whatnot, former or current, that I would say was, you know, an inherently bad person. That leads me to touch colour because, yes, whilst I've become an avid um, Rooster fan, um, through the touch of colour, though, I have met so many players, both current and past from all clubs. Um, and again, the profound thing is when we have this event where the insurance industry, Touch Footy Australia, the NRL come together 
all forms of reason to support Kids Express, to, to support kids. Every single one of the players make a point of coming out to me, um, thanking me for what Kids Express does, thanking me for them being a part of that event, which let's face it, it's pretty exhausting for some of them because they end up playing with multiple teams, etc. And that's, I think, something that's really unique to the NRL in terms of they want to do good in the community. They want to be part of something that really makes a difference. What What do you love about Touch Pala? Touch of Pala. Yeah. yeah. I think it's great when the players, uh, you know, uh, put their hands up. Because a lot of those guys, um, because of my involvement with the sport, um, you know, in, in so many different sort of facets, uh, a lot of those guys I, I do ask a lot of when when you talk to them and explain to them what Kids Express is about and what Kids Express does then I don't think I've ever had anyone say oh no that's not for me you know and you know that's you know that's not surprising for me because that's what I expect of players because that's what I've only experienced from players um, you know, most of the players that play our sport come from underprivileged backgrounds, come from working class families. Um, so, you know, they they do have that sense of responsibility, whether the media would like you to believe it or not. They do, and they do take that very seriously as well. It's one of those events that you just go as soon as it's out, everybody wants to be involved. It's it's got there's something about it. That people on the day just love the day and they know it's doing good but it's also about worlds coming together that wouldn't necessarily always come together in the way to do it and I'll go back again Frank that it is because of you I'm going to go right back to the beginning of you created that event um, you created the intent around that event you know, listening to you and saying you know my intention wasn't really to go and put in my intention wasn't really to you know use my arts but I think who you are as a um, human being and my belief is that we all have the same purpose in life we are human kind and our job is to be the best in both both human and kind and i think you're probably one of the most exemplary compassionate humble human kind i have ever met so thank you so much for everything that you do kids express um can't wait to touch color this year because i think this is going to be a doozy of a year um, yeah, and I'm just very grateful you're investing in Kids Express and to look forward to many more years of us changing lives together. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.